we are building the number one project from the y by python curriculum now we are at a very very interesting point previously we looked at an algorithm which was correct but excruciatingly slow because we were moving in steps of one so the thought was why don't we increase the step size to perhaps say for example 10 and you know uh, we can speed up the whole thing but what we found is that if we do this for example here we end up in an infinite loop the number chosen here was 35 so i'm just going from 31 to 41 back to 31 to 41 and so on and so forth in this video we will see how we can fix this in a very very step by step manner now the first thing to realize is that as we discussed earlier as well that what we really need to do is that once we cross this number so we are going in a certain direction once we go higher than this number for example if you're going from the lower side at this point we need to turn back all right we are doing that already but we must also reduce the step size now the question that comes up is how do we do this in code and the way to do that really is to keep track of the previous answer and compare the correct answer the current answer to the previous answer let's take an example you know let's say again the chosen number is 55 say i have i started 10 uh, in my answer will be large because number is larger than 10 but my previous answer i start with a let's say a, you know um, an empty string i when i come to the next attempt i guess 20 i mean the computer guesses 20 or other and I say, okay, let me look at the previous answer. There was L and hence my previous answer becomes L. Now, in this case, both these answers are the same. So I don't need to do anything. This has been no change. And same thing continues till, let's say, when I'm 50. Now, when I go from 50 to 60, I make a guess of 50. Remember, my previous answer will be L because the answer last, you know, last attempt will be uh, basically assigned to the previous answer. However, my current answer will be S, which means that I'm saying that, look, my number is smaller than 60. Although previous time it was larger than, uh, you know, than uh, 50. So it means that I have, you know, turned around. I have kind of gone over this number. And now is the time for me to not only turn back. That will anyway happen because the chose, answer chosen has changed. But also reduce the step size. So that is the basic idea that we are going to follow. Let's do this in a step-by-step -step manner because it can get quite confusing if we are not, you know, let's say systematic about this. First thing first, uh, you know, I'm going to just say, look, let me keep track of my previous answer. So here I create a new variable. Let me stop this first. I so I will first create a new variable called prev ans wer uh, because that's what I will, you know, basically I'll store the previous attempt's answer in this. I'm just going to assign this to an empty, uh, you know, empty string to start with. Over here, once the answer has been given, notice the uh, answer is input. So once this has been given, I just go and store this to say previous answer, let's say is equal to say answer. Now, notice here what is what's going to happen is I'm just going to, you know, uh, enable this print over here so that we understand what's going on. This will now keep track of the previous answer. Uh, you know, uh, this variable will now keep track of the previous answer that has been given. Let's now let's just run this to understand what's going on though we have not written much logic here let's say i you know uh, you know I, I start this it says is it one i answer l notice my previous answer is empty my current answer is l it asks me is it 11 i say well larger than that this time round my previous answer is also l because previous answer from here came into a previous answer here and answer is l i say well i say larger than that again the same story because my number is 35 remember i say okay i i say larger than 35 larger than 31 sorry again the same story now this time round i'm going to say smaller than 41 and this is interesting because notice here my current answer which is this is s because i said smaller you know i remember i'm inside this loop right now previous answer is l and uh, uh, now is the time for me to let's say adjust the gains uh, the the guess step so how do I do this? Well, I don't need to do this in the first attempt. So I just put the if condition here. I say, okay, look, if attempts is say greater than one, a colon is needed. Now, if this will automatically get indented because we are getting inside the if loop, I just put a check here. If brief answer is not equal to answer. And, and the idea really is very sim simple. As we have said, if the previous answer is not same as the current answer that we are giving, it means that we have changed around. And I'm just going to say guess step, for example, is, you know, I'm just going to say, for example, guess step, uh, you know, minus one. Now here I could have gone to guess step being one, two, I could have taken any algorithm, but I'm just saying, okay, let me just reduce it by one. And remaining part will just keep, you know, uh, happening by itself. A few things I do want to say about this. Number one, notice that this piece of logic here has been put before line number 52 because if we do it afterwards it's meaningless uh, these two will always be equal because i want the previous answer to reflect what has happened in the previous attempt 
Whereas after line 52, it's going to reflect what's happened in the current attempt. So that's why this piece of logic has to come before line number 52. Now, as far as this logic is concerned, pay attention to the indentation again. We are saying if attempts is equal to one, now this check has to happen on every loop, on every pass of the loop, which means it must be indented along with the other statements of the while loop. This is part of the while loop. Of course, inside this, there are two levels of indentation because this is a nested if loop. Go through this slowly, think about this carefully. And in the same token, remember, I want the previous answer has to be updated every pass of the loop. Hence, its indentation also is important. If I were to do this mistake, that's a problem because now my previous answer has gotten into if attempts more than one. In fact, we do not want that. We want to update the previous answer all the time. That's why it must be indented here. And in fact, with this, we are done. Uh, we are, in fact, never going to stuck in, get stuck in infinite loop here. Let's just see this for ourselves. Let's say the chosen number is 35. So I come in here. I say, look, is it one? I say larger than one. I said larger than 11, larger than 21, larger than 31. And I'm going to say smaller than 41. I end up in a situation where my previous answer was large. The current answer is there. So previous answer is coming from here. The current answer is coming from here. Fifth attempt. Now notice my guess step has reduced because from 41, I did not go to 31. In fact, I went to 32 because my guess step has now become 9. Now again, I'm going to say, look, you know, it's larger than, you know, 32. Once again, I'll have a situation where the previous answer will be S, which is coming from here. The current answer is L, as I just answered L. And hence, again, I'm reversing and I'm reducing the steps. So 32 has become 40, step has become 8. In fact, with this, I will, in fact, convert. So I say smaller, I say larger, I say smaller, I say larger, it goes to 38, kind of does a roundabout. And finally, I say smaller, it picks up 35, and I say yes. Notice how the step of the guess is being changed. It was 10 to start with when we were here, then began 9, then 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and then we found our answer. So it took us 12 attempts, but in fact, the algorithm is now correct. It will find whatever number we want. Like I said, there are again many choices here. We could make the guess step down to one, in which case it will become monotonic. It will become like one directional from there. There will not be so many switches of guess, but the logic will still continue to work. Think about this carefully. Go through it very slowly in a step-by-step -step manner so that it becomes clear. Uh, otherwise, this can get a little bit confusing. If you think this way of learning is working for you, do look at our website. There's a lot of content that may be of interest to you. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.